I know. Welcome to the Grillio, y'all. Tonight we're going to do an Italian themed hamburger. Italian style. Maybe a cross between Italian, American, French, and who knows what. But we're going to start off by making a marinara that starts with bacon. All the good things down. in the world start with bacon. That is a whole pound of thick sliced bacon. What kind of bacon did you use? The kind that's made out of pig. I mean, Walmart I'm brand, brand specific, you're not. Walmart brand, can't tell the difference. Nowadays is what the hell you can afford. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, we're going to render this down slowly. And then when this gets rendered down, we'll bring you back and tell you what, show you what else we're going to do to it. This is going to be the bacon marinara sauce. Okay. So we'll be back in 35 minutes or three beers. Okay. Yep. All right, y'all. We got that bacon rendered down, drain some of the grease off of it. We're going to go in with about a half a medium white onion, diced it up. What did you say? A half a medium white onion, dusted it up. Chopped fine. Does that work better? Sure. Yeah, you know. We're gonna put a little bit of groovy shake, which is our all-purpose seasoning. Not a whole bunch. We're gonna put a little bit of oregano in there. Oregano. Oregano. That comes from the oregano tree, right? Well, yeah. And it comes from a little animal that lives in the oregano tree. In the northeast corner of Oregon? The northeast corner of South Asia. South Asia, my bad. Yeah. We're going to put just a, a tad of red chili flakes in there. We're going to put about a tablespoon of tomato paste. You wanted to use your finger really bad, didn't you? I wanted to, but, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. We're going to toast that down just a little bit. Smear that around. Y'all, I, I saw this sauce on Chud's BBQ, Chud's Barbecue. He made a grilled chicken parm and he made this sauce. He started with pancetta. And he said, if you can't find pancetta, you can use bacon. Well, the first time I made it, I couldn't find pancetta, so I made it with bacon. And I liked it so much, I don't know if I want to try it with pancetta. I mean, it might be better, might be worse. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll give Mr. Bradley Robinson, Mr. Chudmeister himself, a little shout out when we post this recipe to the YouTube. We got about three big cloves of minced garlic. Smells good. He put a bouquet garni in his, in his, which is some herbs, fresh herbs tied together, but I don't have fresh herbs to tie together. So I took a shortcut and added the oregano. Or, oregano. Oh. Yeah. Now, we have here a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. What are you giggling about? It does smell good, don't it? One day they will uh, invent smell o vision because this smells really good. Yeah, I, I, before we started filming this show, I heard all those YouTube cooks say it and the TV cooks, and I'm like, man, that's dorky as hell. No, now I understand. Yeah, exactly. Now I understand. The smell sells it. The snail smells it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're gonna stir that up. And we're just gonna let it get groovy for a few minutes. But, whilst that is getting groovy and such, and, and to be honest, I'm pretty sure that it's better with pancetta. Pancetta is kind of an Italian bacon. I was gonna say, isn't it just bacon? Yeah, but it's 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 pork belly, but it's a different form, a little bit different season. Slice it thinner. As usually you bite in a big old chunk and slice it yourself. You can buy it diced. Uh, around here it's expensive as hell. What well, isn't expensive right now? True that. Even the Dollar Tree done went to a dollar and a quarter. Yep. We're gonna fire up this other burner here. Baby. 
Woo! You know, maybe we're gonna fire it up. We're gonna fire that up and we're gonna put a little bit of decent quality extra virgin olive oil. That is, uh, I wanna say that's Pompeii or Pompeii from, got it at Walmart, but it is a name brand. We'll swirl that around a little bit. And here I have one medium yellow onion, white onion, sorry, white onion one red bell pepper and one green bell pepper and, and you'll see how this comes together and why we call it an italian style burger uh, it's, it's going to be a fusion of several things because we're using a brioche bun and brioche is french uh -huh. and jamie don't like brioche buns because apparently he has mental issues he don't like them we're going to let them sweat down, and uh, we'll be back when all this is ready. We're cooking some burger patties, y'all. Yep. See you in a minute. Hey, y'all. I uh, got a little bit of skillet out here. I can't even get that thing in frame, dude. I got to back up. That's my hand in the middle of it. You better hurry up. That bitch is getting hot. Yeah, go ahead. That is a 20 inch lodge, uh, discontinued in 1990, I think. I bought it brand new in a lot of cast iron that I bought. So uh, we're gonna use it as a griddle tonight. And we're gonna fry these. These are six ounce patties of 80-20 ground chuck. We're gonna turn that heat up. We're gonna let the fat render out, a little crust form. How many you got to do? Uh, 12. I got eight of these, and then I got four other pre made patties. I made these, I've got a little four and a half inch pastry ring. Yeah, I think we filmed using that thing. Yeah, before. yeah, you've seen it on film. It's kind of sort of famous in the grill. Oh, yeah, these skillets are apparently very sought after because they discontinued them. Now they make a 16 inch, but they don't make the 20 inch no more. But uh, I got one. Man, you can almost get, you can, you can get two more in there. Mm. If you want to put two more in there. You know what? I think we'll leave room to flip yeah, them. Room to flip them. Yeah, we'll put these four in there later. Yep. Now, we are going to season these a little bit. We have a very special seasoning we're going to use to season them. Yep. It's called Groovy Shake. Imagine that. Brings out the best flavor in everything. Except for a chocolate bar. It don't bring out good flavor in a chocolate bar. We haven't tried one of it yet. Yeah. Let's try it. Is that our next challenge? A candy bar with green shake on it? Yep. All right. Are you up for the challenge? Sure, why not? Okay, then. Cool. We're going to let these fry a little bit, and then we're going to flip them over. What you're looking for that you can wait, take wait, the brown Wait, 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 wait. You said fry a late? Yeah. Okay. Fry Making sure I heard that right. Sizzle, griddle. All right, dude. What are you going to do? What Sorry. you're looking for is that meat to get brown about halfway up and you'll see a little bit of moisture cooling on the top. That's when you flip them and they're going to stick before that. But they're going to release themselves at that point. We're going to form a crust because you want that little bite when you bite in that burger. A little crispy, crunchy, crustification. Good word, you see. So we'll be back in about a beer. Yep. become a bachelor. 
You see that it's better. Yep. That one ain't ready. That one ain't ready yet. That's a hot spot. to the middle and they will cut that up. There we go. We got our flip. We got our flip. We'll be back when we tease these things, y'all. <laughs> we love our sister. All right, y'all. We got this mozzarella cheese we're going to put on. They, they is done. They cooked in that little bitty skillet. Which, by the way, does a fine job of heat retention. It does. Just got to learn where the hot spots and the cold spots are. Plus, apparently with a 20-inch skillet and a 5-inch burner. Yeah, we, we were just kind of improvising tonight. Yeah, we're just experimenting. It's going to be a good... You wait your damn turn. Well, you remember, some of them he don't want the, uh, cheese on, so hand me the you, piece that does not go on the burger. You're getting cheese just, last. Look, hand it to me. No, you're getting cheese last. You're such an ass. Oh, I will, I will slap you. <laughs> I'm going to slap you. I got one little corner. <laughs> you hush. Muskrat little. How many you want without cheese? Three? Two. Two. What? Just thinking out loud. No, you're thinking to yourself. How do you know? You didn't hear me. You don't know me like that. The joys of cooking outside. We will be back when the cheese gets melted and we build a burger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An Italian style burger. Oh, okay. uh huh. I'm going to put cheese on that one. We got two with no cheese. All right, then. We'll be back. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. We're going to build. We were going to toast the buns, but we decided otherwise. Because we're lazy. Yeah, we're lazy. So the way we're going <laughs> And to we've been doing this, this for two hours. The way we're going to assemble this sandwich. And I'm hungry. That one was yours? That one. That one. Okay. Jamie picked out his own patty. Put that on the bottom. I'm just going to grab the next random patty. Put that on the bottom. I'm assuming you want peppers and onions on yours, yeah, of sir? Of course. Not too many, just enough. About like that. Well, yeah, you, you wasted half of them on the board. Oh, no, I'm going to pick them up. Hey, get your pearl. Yeah. You, you going to leave any for anybody else? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just sloppy. Uh, apparently, tongs is not the right idea to do that. Yeah. Anyway, keep going. We won't worry about that. We'll pick it up later. Yeah. And then, we're going to take a spoonful of this here bacon marinara and put right atop that situation right there. And right atop that situation right there, I'm going to get that little bit put on my burger. And then we're going to crown these bad bubbas. Oh my goodness. I see this going everywhere. Let me get my lean right. We're going to get, get into the pile of stuff we can reuse for somebody else. <laughs> that stuff's going everywhere. <laughs> what do you think? I'm going to try mine when I can set the camera down because I can't do it right now. Cat shit on a cracker, that's good. Yeah. Fine. Oh my gosh. I'm filming down here, so filming you. It brings back memories. Um, when we were very young, our mother used to take us to a drugstore in downtown Pensacola. I can't remember the name of that drugstore. I know but what you're talking about. They had a lunch counter and a soda fountain, and they made a burger Italiano, and it's basically this. And I haven't seen it anywhere. I've seen Italian style burgers, burgers made with Italian sauce. I've never seen nothing like this. And I know that a brioche bun is not Italian, it's French, but. Let's see if I can. Holy hell. There's no mm. way I can do this in, in film. 
That's the best burger I've had this week. And I've had two burgers this week. That's really good. Y'all that marinara? That's really good. You saw the recipe. Make it. If you want to try using pancetta, that's fine. If you don't, use bacon. Yeah, that's good. I do suggest a brioche bun, even though James don't like them. I just I just like a regular old plain bur uh, bun. But. but, with that being said, you can make a spaghetti burger or burger parmesan, whatever the hell you want. We're going to call it an Italian-style burger. Wow. Just do it. 80-20 ground chuck. If you can grind your own, do that. It's a lot better. Groovy shape. We'll sell that recipe to you for a set price. Yep. Or an easy payment plan. <laughs> and, and you saw what we did with the marinara and the peppers and onions. Nowadays, it'll be a payment plan. Yeah. So, we'll see you next time. Same fat time. Same fat channel. Same fat ass throwing some burgers down. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Later on, y'all. Do a mic check, please, sir. Mic check. Mic check. Oh, good. I got to run, my shit's on fire. What Mikey used to say? I got the runs. What? Can't stop pooping. Or something like something that, like yeah. Like yeah. That. yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you know. Joker, not just mediocre. <laughs>